welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug, more specifically their special edition gondola, which I managed to get in magenta. Wowie wow, let me just tell you, this is bright. I, it's even brighter than I imagined and I love it. It really is highlighter pink. I do not think that video or pictures do this color justice, no matter what kind of light you have it in there. As usual, I will go through the features of the bag first, taking out what I have in here already. Then I will go over some different things that you can fit in here. But first things first, let me just get this out of the way. I tuck a heart pouch onto the outside. This is rainbow navy. I thought it looked very cute. I actually hang my hand sanitizer off the ring on the heart pouch because there is no other kind of D-ring or anything. And I don't wanna hang it on this little loop because then it can kind of make the foam pocket wonky and interfere with this pocket. So that is that. Now, with these handles, they are in fact the Jelly Grips. They are amazingly comfortable, amazingly squishy, non-slip, so you can very easily have it on your shoulder and it doesn't fall off, which I love. I also know that some people feel like this drop could be longer. Yes and no. I'm one of the people who prefer no because sometimes, especially with a bag like this, I kind of like to have it tucked to my body. I will put in a picture of what it looks like on me and then also over my winter coat. So first things first, with outside organization, you do have your dedicated cell phone pocket and it is completely fleece lined and fits my sample phone with the attached pop socket, no problem. Underneath that, before we get into the compartment, look at this beautiful detailing. I do like it. Um, I love that it is on both the front and the back. This pocket, beautiful zippers per lug standard. And then here, I just keep a tech pouch with my phone necessities and my AirPod case. This is also an RFID protected pocket. And can we just take a moment to appreciate this lining? Look at how cute this is. All the stems on the flowers represent the new brights that are going to be coming out from Lug. I love it. I also really, really love this base. It's more of like a, like a blue gray. On the violet bag that I originally had wanted, the internal pattern is the same with the flowers, but it has like a navy blue base. For me, that's a little bit too dark. I prefer something a touch brighter. This really, really called to me, especially um, when paired with the pink. Also, uh, with, as far as this pocket goes, I can fit my Splits XL in here. There's no other internal organizational features. There is no hood. So you have just until the top of the zipper. Um, but I prefer not to. I actually prefer to keep it in another area in the bag, which I'll get to momentarily. So now onward to the back of the bag. You'll see another very nice zippered pocket. No other internal organizational features in this pocket and it is smaller than the front. Um, so basically what I keep in here are my two reusable totes. It is the length of the seams for your trolley strap. So that's how big the pocket is, but it does go to the bottom of the back. And speaking of bottom, before I get to the trolley strap, look, it's my favorite feet and a wipeable bottom. Oh, love that. And you have, of course, your trolley strap, very nice strong dot of Velcro. You can put it over your telescopic handles for your luggage. Perfect. On to the inside of the bag. Now, this does not zipper from end to end. So there are open spaces, which is nice because if you need to just kind of reach in and grab something, you can without unzipping the entire bag. I prefer end to end zippers. That's just me because I have found a complaint, if you will, by no means a deal breaker. But when you unzip it, you get to your, your end stopper here. This can get twisted I don't know if I can demonstrate. This can get twisted underneath like that very easily. You don't even realize it happens. So then when you think you're going to zip it closed, it's stuck. So you have to always kind of make sure that it's properly aligned and then you can zip it up with no problem. So now let me just open it just to kind of give you a, an overview of what I have in here. There's not too much now. These are all my everyday carry items. One additional item that I've added because I can. 
As usual, I'll take everything out of the main portion of the compartment first, and then I will get to the interior organizational features. I have my planner and my food journal, which very nicely stand up like this, so I can keep the bag more slim, if you will. Um, so that is very nice. And then I just toss in my keys in the bottom. And that is all for just what I kind of put in the middle. Now, the first thing you'll notice inside, there is an insulated water bottle pocket. This is a phenomenal addition because you can very easily fit your 18 and a half ounce chuggy in there with no trouble and carry it around so you always have a water bottle with you or I have discovered something. This is the water bottle I carry around normally. Now with this silicone bumper on it, I cannot put it in this bag. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just carry it separately. I don't have a problem with that. But I discovered, and this is the same size, they're both 40 ounce take you bottles, that this can fit in the water bottle pocket. So this water bottle pocket is huge. Now, the only other issue is if I have my 40 ounce bottle in here, can zip it because there is this extra material, but it's, it's tight. I mean, it's right there and it causes a little bit of stress on the zipper at this point, And I do not want that. Next to that insulated water bottle pocket, there is a cargo pocket. This is very, very nice. It is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but I don't have a problem with that at all. In here, I have the largest of the Seesaw clear pouches. It is half fleece lined, so it protects anything that you want to put in there. And I'll give you an example of something else that I can put in there. Um, I can actually fit my planner in there or my food journal in there if I chose to do that as well. Then on this side, which is considered the front, if you will, of the bag, so there are your six stacking pockets. This you have to be careful with. They can bulk out very easily, as I've mentioned about stacking pockets in the past. Um, you do have this pocket, your two pen slots, which of course you all know is another of my favorite lug features. And what I chose to keep in the tallest is my Splits XL. It fits no problem, easy access. I love that. And these are also, both of them, are half fleece lined. So if you want to put sunglasses in there, readers or what have you, in the pocket in front of that one, there's nothing. And in the bottom pocket, there's nothing. On the other side where the fleeced pocket is the largest of the three, I have the smaller of the seesaw pouches just with my little tchotchkes in there. In front of that, I have a notebook, which fits very nicely. And then I believe, yeah, nothing in that smaller pocket. And another thing about each of these is they seem to have a little bit of padding, which is nice. So anything that you put in there is definitely very, very safe. And last but not least, as far as internal organization, there is in fact a key bungee, which you know I love as well. So that is everything. Now, through the magic of editing, I have repacked the bag with all my everyday items because I want to show you what else I can fit in here with them. Um, first off, I will show you, this is my Kindle. It is in a protective case. And in this internal tech cargo pocket, if you will, I can actually fit my Kindle with the larger of the Seesaw pouches. So both of them can fit in there, no problem. Causes no issue with being able to zip up the bag. Also, I can take my insulated pouch, which I actually got from my Gondola XL. That will fit in there as well. I hope you can see it. it's right there. And then that also allows for me to be able to zip it up. If you need to carry, say, some standard size folders, those fit in here. Now, again, this is with the Chuggy inside as well. Those folders can fit in here, no problem. Does not interfere with being able to zip it up. So let me take out the folders and the Kindle, and then I will show you <laughs> my good old Trapper Keeper. Let me stand up for this one. This I can actually stick in. Now this takes a little bit of finagling because it is a larger binder, but because of the extra material on the top, 
you can in fact put this in and you can zip it. A little bit of stress point because you are actually pushing the bag to its limit, um, but can be done in case you need to carry a binder for any reason. So that is that. And then of course, just your standard spiral notebook will fit in there with no trouble. And lastly, this is my Microsoft Surface 3 in case the Surface itself, it will not fit in that tech pocket, but I keep it in case because I use the keyboard anyway. So again, let me stand up. You can absolutely plop that right inside and you have no issues and it does not cause any stress on the top of the zipper. So that is it. Those are some examples of what you can fit in here. Um, the color is insane. It is very comfortable. It's very comfortable on the body. Like I said, the only complaints, if you will, is sometimes the zipper does twist when it's open and sometimes the weight of the little charm sanitizer and my heart pouch can kind of make this slide open a little bit and it can be a little bit awkward when you're kind of shopping and in the moment shuffling in and out of it um but again those are not deal breakers for me i love this bag so much i love the uh, new features that they have i have a gondola that's so old it doesn't even have the grippers underneath the handle that's I, I don't know if it's like first generation or what have you i don't even remember when i got it but it's very very old so and that is it. Uh, I absolutely can see me using this as an everyday carry. Uh, I love carrying it even now in the winter because it just gives me that little bit of bright warmth that spring and summer are right around the corner. So it makes me happy. And honestly, that's the best part I think about lug. There is something to make everybody happy. Once again, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a good one. Bye.